guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 2 of Tribe 9, BTW. It is like 7 in the morning. I am tired. I've slept for a couple of hours and stuff, but I gotta get... I, today, I can't even speak. Right now is really kind of the only time that I'm able to do this before I go to work and such. So just in case this comes out either before I go to work, after I go to work, whatever, um, just know. If you see me on, whatever. I am so a little sleepy. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode two and three, two, one, go. All right, let's see what the heck happened yesterday. Oh, this group! So I'm guessing you whipped him into shape, of course. So in a way with this tribe and especially with him because when I saw like the preview for this group maybe like what two three months ago it seems like the guy in the middle is possibly the prime minister I'm not 100% sure on that that's just a logical little guys but see Kanaka once again Kanaka always makes very interesting characters and the next thing you know Either one of two things happens, you barely get like a little bit on them and such, but I really am hoping and praying that we do get like more info. Plus to the fact is that this is getting a webtoon series and I, something tells me, I'm going to read it. I read like a little bit of the Yakodama Drive manga when that was out, so obviously I'm going to do it with this as well. And the fact that he has him in like a floating fucking fortress. It's Ultra Despair Girls all over again. Well, at least somebody did their ish. Oh, 
Huh. Tiger, you're supposed to read the damn manual no matter what! <sighs> Got you. So, still, like, not like your traditional baseball once again. You know, I'm going to go ahead and ask this. Could you possibly kill someone on this? I mean, but technically in the opening, it's all blood, so that's a yes. Damn, Saudi. <laughs> yes, it would, but you have to follow the rules, though, damn it. Exactly. You can make your own team if you're really upset about that. Right? Like, you should have made your own tribe and then defeated Shine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You guys basically are gonna probably win like every freaking match. What? <laughs> then we're doomed. Okay. Oh, well, it's obviously shown you're going to win. Because, mm -hmm. he about to throw that damn ball like it's nobody's business. No, just watch. Oh! 
Are you fucking... If that's 30, I can't imagine if it's 100. And I thought Leon threw fast pitches. Well, it was. Yeah, because if you don't look, you really just screw yourself over. Mm. Just relax. You're getting a little too stiff, though. Yeah, but you're still out. <laughs> huh? Seriously? Hold up, you told me Shun used to beat the shit out of <laughs> Well, you know, it's kind of obvious because of episode one. <laughs> mm. I'm also guessing that girl with the white hair and that one tribe, like, she must be fucking, like, massive, like, big-ass destroyer bitch. Or even that one girl who's, like, big... Is that supposed... You know already, that looks straight up, like, freaking... <laughs> I don't even need to say it! Oh. Holy shit. Well, you know, I mean, see, I'm okay with that unless I'm winning. If I'm winning, then yes, I get to kill somebody. But if I'm losing... <laughs>
No, oh, looks so good. Now you can eat. Yeah, didn't you say you were hungry? Shit! What the? I have a bad feeling about that. Come on, I mean, you're a part of the team. I can't with his teeth once again.
He's so fucking cute. I can't. Yeah, but how did I feel about that group? Because... <laughs> Do we have any video footage though? You're telling me to- oh my- mm, shit. Oh my god, no! <laughs> It makes you wonder, like, why immediately? I okay, I get it. Number one, we're going after different tribes. But like, damn, I wasn't thinking that he was gonna be able to come to these. <laughs> it's like right after the shit storm of what he did to three other tribes. I'm thinking he's gonna go after like. Oh my god, because see, I don't know everybody. The names of the tribes like vary like on top of my head yet and such so I can only really give you like the characteristics of what certain characters look like okay so there's a group of like they they literally like they feel like delinquents to me and one of the girls who I like she has white hair and she literally looks like Sonia's and Gundam Tanaka's daughter like straight up and I'm thinking oh, okay you gonna go after them 
And then eventually you're going to come after Shen and their group and such. But no, he is literally like, okay, we took these three, we're down with them, and we're done with them, we're moving on to this group. So now he's over here wondering, okay, yes, can Shen's tribe, like, entertain me? Because, of course, these other three try to entertain. And unfortunately, they all currently, you know, perish and such. But damn, like, okay. In a way, and I cannot believe I'm going to also compare this to Dungaroo, but I think... And because I did this with Akadama Drive, and so I, I in a way, I kind of am doing this with this show. Um, with the fact is that whatever, the, when the losing team loses, and of course they have to do whatever the fuck the winning team wants them to do, with this tribe, who I'm guessing is in that big, you know, obnoxious floating fortress and such, that has the, like, quote unquote, I'm guessing, prime minister of this, um, of the uh, the XB situation and such, and having his quote-unquote son do his dirty work and eventually follow into his footsteps, it seems like, yeah, when someone lose, they're just killing them. There is no, oh, hey, you're going to do this for me. No, you're just going to die and you're going to stay dead. But it depends on, like, if Shun and the rest of them do eventually, I mean, not lose, win against these um, kids, mm -hmm, words, tribe next week on Monday... And if they win, what is Shun going to ask them to do? So it's still like a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. But the fact is, like, it, it's still at the same time a regular old thing game of baseball. But at the same time, it is baseball with slash killing game. And I still fucking love it because, oof, because you never really know what the fuck is going to happen. I did like the practice mode with them. I thought that was very interesting. I love the fact that, you know, like, in a way, Shun really believes in Haru, but when it comes to Taiga, he's like, mm, yeah, I don't really know personally about you. But even with the fact that, you know, like, Shun gave Haru, like, his bat to hold and everything, it's almost like he's giving him a rite of passage one, to, yes, he does believe in him, and he knows that he is more than he perceives on and such. I do want to know a little bit more about, like, Shin the Destroyer situation, so hopefully we get a little more backstory on that in the next few weeks, or if not, maybe if there's, like, number one, the webtoon, and then possibly a light novel series for this, or they're probably going to put it in the game. That's the biggest thing, but of course we're not going to know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 2 of Tribe 9. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on Monday, hopefully. Like I said, I am sorry that this is coming out a day late. But until then, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 3. Bye, guys.